long-term as far as injuries? Um, actually, there's a couple to report, and uh, unfortunately during camp, uh, both <clears throat> Blake Gonzalez and Craig Woodson suffered lower body injuries that are going to keep them out for the season. Um, you know, it's an unfortunate part of this game. Uh, both those guys have put themselves in a position to uh, compete for a lot of playing time, and uh, unfortunately suffered injuries about a week ago, and and uh, they'll be out for the remainder of the season. But look forward to getting them back as soon as possible, and uh, we'll support them through that process. The others are still. Yeah, everybody else we expect to be back uh, back with us, and, and uh, many of them, you know, in the short term, here within a number of matter of days. It looked like you had your old boss out here yesterday, Coach Tesla. Yeah. How did that come about, getting it back up here? You haven't talked to the guys? Or yep. Um, so I kept up with Coach Tedford off and on. As you know, when you're in coaching, it's hard to keep up with many people, especially when somebody else is coaching. But, uh, oh, this past off season, <clears throat> caught up with him a number of times and um, just, you know, talking about a lot of different things and then uh, asked if he would be uh, or if he wanted to come up and watch practice now that he's retired. And so we uh, kind of threw a few dates out and. We're glad he came up and, and saw us and had him talk to the team just for a few moments. I know everybody was thrilled to see him. Um, coaches and players alike, a lot of support staff members who have been here a long time. And so it was it was great to have him here. He must be healthy now. Huh? Pardon? He's healthy now. He was great. Yep. It was great seeing him and he was looked great, sounded great, and it was uh, all in all a really good day. Got to spend some time with him in the offices and and as I mentioned, a lot of people around here uh, were looking forward to, to talking to him. You have a lot of history with him. You were the OC in Oregon your last couple of years. Mm -hmm. He hired you your first yeah. head coaching job. Yep. Talk about that a little bit. Well, um, I mean, the reality is I, I wouldn't – it's not likely that I would be sitting here in this role if it weren't for Coach Tedford. Um, I initially met him when I was a player. I was – I played on defense, and he was the offensive coordinator my last I think, last two seasons, I believe. Um, and uh, kind of got to know him then, and he was an excellent coach. You knew that right away. And uh, so then, uh, you know, after I finished college, I got into I went as a graduate assistant to Boise State, and uh, with with Bob Gregory, who took me over there, and then. Coach Tedford hired Bob Gregory, and then a year later, Coach Foster retired, and Coach Tedford. And, and Coach Gregory uh, gave me the first opportunity to get a full-time job in coaching here, and um, so I'm, I'll always be indebted to him for that opportunity. So um, we were fortunate to have some great years here under him. He did a fantastic job, and and uh, you know, I personally, our team, Cal has a, <clears throat> you know, uh, he's done a lot for for all of us. So. Did have a scrimmage on Saturday. Yep. Went close to 800 plays. Yeah. N right. 97 or so. Uh, looking at the film from that, mm -hmm. film, what did you see? Made a significant jump from the week prior uh, in kind of every area offense, defense, and special teams, which we needed to. We're going to be looking to make a similar jump this week. You got to keep improving. That's the, the point of all of this. And so. Uh, some real good individual efforts. Offensively, great job in the red zone. Started right off the bat going live in the red zone. And uh, the offense did a really nice job down there with some productive runs and then some throwing and catching. Some what you would call 50-50 balls, but the offense won, I think, most all those down in the red zone. So really nice job there. The defense really battled back when we put the ball out in the field. Um, had some good plays, some good stops. Uh, you know, and we got into a two-minute situation at the uh, end of the scrimmage, kind of put some stress on the, uh, the offense to move it and kicking team. Um, so there was just a lot, of, a lot to take from that. You know, we, we did some live punt. We did some live field goal, field goal block. And overall, just thought it was significant improvement from the week before. And we need that same type of improvement this week. With that, you had uh, ISFA back, yep. that, uh, inside linebacker. How has he kind of progressed in yeah. the season here? The, you know, Mo just needs experience. He's a talented young guy. 
uh, physically. Uh, he's got really good instincts. He just needs to play. And uh, unfortunately, he was held out a little bit uh, with some uh, injuries. But uh, he's back with us, and he he was noticeable in the scrimmage. Made a couple really good plays. He just needs to he needs reps. He needs to keep playing. But he's a talented guy. And he had uh, Jordan again a bit. At, uh, yeah, linebacker. yeah. We moved Miles in there. Miles is. A, Got a lot of uh, tangible skills, and he finds his way to the ball, and he's really picked up the inside linebacker stuff uh, pretty quickly. And so we have, you know, the depth at outside linebacker uh, we feel really good about, and we felt like Miles uh, moving in there could probably push for, for some more playing time. And he, uh, the initial response has looked really good. And, you know, it doesn't happen overnight when you move from outside inside linebacker, but he has done a nice job kind of working through that transition and we're we're uh, excited about his future there. Well, could you talk a little bit about the defensive line and, and where you feel they are, uh, specifically Stanley? Uh, yeah, we, we think uh, there's going to be a number of guys that play for us at defensive line. I think the reps are going to start to sort themselves out, you know, here in the next week and a half and then even throughout the season because some of those guys are going to continue to develop. But uh, some of those underclassmen are really pushing for playing time. You talk about Stanley and Ricky and Ethan, and I think there's just, you know, those guys are going to have to help us. And to what extent, you know, uh, we'll see. But we're, uh, we f we feel really good about the development, and uh, there's going to be a number of guys, which we want, that, that rotate through there. And uh, I think uh, the more, again, the more and more they get experience and play, the more they're going to learn. and. I think they're all got bright futures. What are Stanley's strengths? Have you Other met him? Being strong. <laughs> Have you met Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> what Other what would be your first? Big, big and strong. What was your first guess? Yeah. So he's real. He's hard to move. Yeah. I mean, he is a big, big guy. Uh, he's strong. Uh, he's he's smart. I mean, he he's really learning the game. Um, he uh, he plays hard. He's got some instincts for playing blocks. Um, again, he's just inexperienced, but you know he's 330 or you know or a little more, and uh, he's hard to move yeah. because he's he's not a sloppy 330. He's a big guy and he's strong, so he's you know playing in between the both a gaps is kind of what he that's his role, and he uh, he owns it and loves it. What does preparation for Nevada start for you guys? Um, we've started in the meeting rooms already. Uh, we've done a little bit, little bit of work there, and in walkthroughs, primarily still, you know, kind of good on good is what we would call it, like cow on cow through tomorrow, and then we will start uh, with Nevada prep on Thursday, where we'll actually have some service and scout teams. Does it help to have Angus there, who maybe the offense isn't the same since he was there, but uh, you know, to an extent, I think. Uh, Sometimes that could be a bit uh, overplayed. Um, you know, personnel things, yeah, it can help a little bit. But, uh, you know, they're a, they're a new team. They have different strengths and weaknesses every year, just like we do. Um, so, it, yeah, I, th I think there's a little bit there, but it's, it's not something we spend uh, a, a ton of time on. Given where you are, are you satisfied where you are at this stage of preseason? Satisfied. Well, that's a tricky, tricky <laughs> word. I'll use your own word. Uh, yeah. I don't know that you're ever satisfied. I mean, that's kind of the nature of, you know, being a competitive sport. And uh, I feel good about the development. We we need to, you know, that's that's got to be the expectation, though. Like, you know, we got to be better today. And uh, you just keep raising the bar as individuals. So when a guy has a really good day and that becomes his standard, now we hold him to that standard and we, you know, raise the stakes, so to speak. And it needs to be like that for every individual and for the unit and for the team and for coaches. So I don't know that we're ever satisfied. And maybe, I don't know if that's uh, part of the you know curse of coaching, but uh, I, I really... I know we're better and we've improved and we got to continue to do that. If we do, we'll give ourselves a chance to have success. How far ahead are you now than you were say, two weeks before last year? 
two weeks before last year's open. Well, last year is such a unique year. Um, I mean, it's significant. Yeah, we're significantly further ahead um, just because of the the lead up to last year was just very, very different. Since you, you did have a couple of your receivers who had been out for camp back for the scrimmage on Saturday, mm -hmm. Hunter and Christakis, yep. how did those two hold up? Well, both made big plays, and uh, that's what we have seen, you know, from them in glimpses. Now it's just finding that consistency and staying on the field. Uh, but both those guys have uh, ability. There's no doubt about that. And we are uh, you know, looking forward to them growing their roles because they have the tools to do it. What uh, particular thing did you work on today and how did, how did practice go today? Well, we're, we're in the afternoon today. Oh, okay. Yeah, this week we started gonna, with afternoon. So what are you going to work on? What are we going to work on today? To, yeah. Today is going to be a real physical day. Uh, we're going full pads. We're going to get a lot of good teamwork. Um, we're going to get some kind of game situations going. You know, mix, normal down and distance. Uh, we got some inside run going, some seven on seven. A lot of teamwork today. And uh, it's going to be a physical day. And then tomorrow will be a little bit different. And then we'll crank it back up again Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.